my favourite part of the process was the bit where Mika wanted to run away before we did the first performance. My favourite part of the process was um, finishing the concert. Uh, um, every, just everything, just everything. After the, the second concert. <laughs> As far as I, uh... you know, uh, in its purest form, uh, the, the psychedelia of music is about you know tripping out. When you slow things down, they seem to be more significant or more profound. Profound. So when they, it sounds like there was a scene of slowing hip hop records down to their slowest logical place and seeing what that was like. So it takes on a kind of uh, depth or darkness or Fun so, that it's... so fool is um is about fooling. <laughs> um, but I guess slow down, um, loop, feel. <clears throat> um, the yeah, so the um the material. And the first part of the verse is slower than the material in the second part of the verse, and so therefore it's lower down, and then it gets sped up to the second bit. So that's meant to be kind of the whole speeding up, slowing down compositional process of the whole thing. And um, chopped and screwed is explores a lot of those elements because it is is about being on tour and just being in a weird state of mind and. Not really, you're just in another service station and then an hour later you're in another service station and then an hour later you're in another service station. And I really like the way that Brian Cox's uh, uh, rhythm and pitch in his voice can be accented, for instance, in this way where maybe you know, he, he always talks about 400 million, 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 million light years away. Um, and the way that his pitch would escalate in that would be so. <laughs> and uh, there's almost a, a you know a comic uh, quality to the way that he talks about everything. Uh, one of the similarities between pop music and experimental classical music that's happening at the moment might be harmony and tonality, because both of those areas of music are starting to get influenced more from. Uh, both starting to see eye to eye about kind of genres or elements of of music that that the two groups Dun Symphonietta and us kind of come from. We just had to, we just had to think quite hard and make quite a big effort about how to uh, on on joining it all together cohesively without it being them and us, you know, or us and them. Um, and I think, yeah, that uh, average really sums up the whole project. Hi, Dave. Oh, hi. We started with the chopper, um, uh, not even about 18 months ago, when we started a couple of years ago. It worked uh, a little bit better, uh, which... Mika had a number of ideas that she wanted to... Uh... And it's basically a wheel, and you use the wheel to pluck the strings, and then there's a bunch of strings, and a... it's on top of a box, 
and then so you move the wheel and that you can put the picks in different places to make different rhythms and you can play it fast you can play it slow and you use a metal rod to go higher and lower so it really fits in with um, it feels a lot like turning a vinyl round when you're turning the wood wheel around to pluck the strings and it feels quite natural to play and so yeah <laughs> And um, and yeah, so that was that was the thinking behind it, kind of prog rock, hip hop, a mixtape inspired uh, classical music piece.